AMD graphics card just sucks, especially for streaming. You're never going to get a good quality stream with an AMD graphics card. Doesn't matter if you have the latest 7000 series or even the old 6000 series. Does not matter. It's always going to take a hit on your performance. Plus, it's never going to be as good as the one from NVIDIA. But this video doesn't exist because I want to tell you that your GPU just sucks for streaming and just buy an NVIDIA one. No, this video exists so I can teach you of what you can do to actually stream at the quality that you want with your card. So let me go to my desktop real quick. All right, before I show you the settings that you should be using on OBS, let me just give you some reference about the things that you should be knowledgeable about. Right here in your screen are some tabs. And of course, we have this video right here from Epos Box, one of the great streamer tech guy on YouTube. And we're going to reference a lot of his video for today because they're so helpful with all the graphs and whatsoever. But let's start first with this one. Everything that is red is from an AMD encoder. Everything that is blue is from an Intel CPU, which is QuickSync encoder. Everything that is yellow are accessible to every PC out there, which is an X264 encoder, while the green ones are from the NVIDIA, which is only accessible through NVENC with an NVIDIA graphics card. Makes sense? And the lower the number, the lower quality it is to the eyes and to the test that he used, which is the Netflix VMAP score. So if you want to learn more about that, you may want to watch this video. Let's just get this out of the way. I know this is a four-year-old video. We have 6,000 series and 7,000 series um, AMD graphics card now, but this is pretty much just the same, even up to the day. AMD just sucks. The encoding, the quality that it produces just sucks. Even lower than very fast, faster and fast from X264, which is a CPU encoder. Now, the NVIDIA side of things, even better than the X264, especially with the Turing graphics card now, which is, by the way, RTX 2060 and above. Another one right here. Now, let me talk about quickly the difference between AVC, which is H264, HEVC, which is H265, and AV1. These are all recorded on very low um, bit rates, just so people can actually see the difference in their encoding power. This is from ancient gameplays and it's a year old, so pretty new graphics card here. AVC H264, this is the encoder that we use for Twitch and majority of the streaming platforms out there. And it sucks, flat out. You can see that pixelated mess. Now, when we move on to the HEVC, it is way, way, way better. And this is available for YouTube. So if you just stream solely on YouTube, just use the H.265. You're golden. You're good. Does not matter. This video doesn't matter immediately, especially with the AV one. Um, but this video is for those who have or is used to and just wants to stream on H.264. And lastly, from this dude from Vin, recording with an AMD 6000 graphics card at stock settings. This one right here is on custom. And then this one right here is using an X264. Can you see the difference? Because I can. This one right here, pixelated. This one is kind of okay. And then this one right here with these um, X264 is just better. I suggest you watch this video on 1440p just so you can see everything. All right, let me move on to OBS to actually show you the settings that you need to know. All right, we're at OBS and you can see two of me, but that's okay. Anyway, as you can see, I was also doing some random streams of Valorant because I was testing out different encoders. What's going to perform the best for stream? And I found my answer. It is not from AMD graphics card. It's not the AMD H265 or H264 or AV1 because those are not useful for Twitch. It's actually the X264 CPU encoder. Now, before I tell you more about my settings, subscribe to this YouTube and also my PC build specs are on the description down below. You know, I was using RX 6700 XT and Ryzen 7 5800X, beefy CPU, but I'll tell you more about it later. This is my video encoder now, X264. My rate control is CBR at 15,000 bit rate. Bum, bum, bum. But Alan, Twitch only accepts 6,000, maybe 8,000. Because again, for reference, this video is now from Nutty and you can actually do 8,000 bitrate on Twitch. But 
This video is a day ago from Epa's Vox once again. Now, as you can see, he was streaming at 4K at 15,000 bit rate, maybe 20,000, because right here he was doing stable 22,000 bit rate and he was doing all the testing. Because recently, if you're using OBS from the future or whenever you're watching this video, OBS 30.2 should be out and this thing should be applicable to everybody. But right now, if you actually just head over to your OBS, go to stream, don't mind this because I'm actually on 30.2, you can just ignore the streaming service settings recommendation and Twitch will actually accept more than 6,000 bit rate now or 8,000 bit rate. That's why I have mine at 15,000 bit rate because I think it's the best for 1080p, even on YouTube videos. Now, keyframe interval, it's always two, the magic number two. One more explanation, you can search it in the internet, but it's just so you don't lag. Ever since everything started, it's always, hey, just set it to two. You don't have to deal with much stuff. So I'll just set it to two as well. You should too. Now, the CPU usage preset right here, I'm using very fast. And now, the video again from Epos Vox earlier, very fast is just right above there, just right below the H.265 version of a 5500 XD AMD graphics card, which means it should be better than my H.264 from my graphics card. I'm using very fast, but don't get me wrong, that's actually better than what the AMD encoder has. And it's not gonna use up too much CPU power, which means you can still play. Profile is on high, this just do high because modern technology can basically watch everything from baseline to high. But if you think your viewers are using some type of ancient telephone, then just do baseline or main. But we're going to do high because that's kind of like the modern normal default. Tune, we don't have to do anything about that. But H264 options, we have this. Now, let me explain it to you one by one. Thread count, the threads. I chose to use half of my threads. I have I have an eight core CPU, which has 16 threads. So if I go to my task manager right here and actually head over to performance, if I check right here, AMD Ryzen 7 5800X, and then core count, eight logical processors, 16. So that's why I am sticking with eight. I don't want it to use everything because I want to leave some for my game. RC look ahead is one, if not the option that you actually have to put in. I have mine set to 50, but if you have a much better CPU, set it to 60. Now, if you've ever owned an NVIDIA graphics card, they have their own psycho tuning look ahead type stuff happening on their encoder. This is practically that, but it's for the CPU. Now, for every preset right here, they have their equivalent look ahead, but we're sticking with 50 for this one because this is what I find best without having to suffer some FPS drops or whatsoever. Now, Trellis is an algorithm, kind of change the pixelation blurriness into something just kind of a little muffled in a way if it was a sound. And then direct dash pred is equal spatial is another algorithm is kind of limiting the best of x264 just so you won't lag as well now more in-depth explanation can actually be seen from a video once again by epos box you should watch this if you want to learn more specifically what these certain settings do but i would just stick with what i have said here
And that is basically it. I know, I know this video didn't tell you the best settings that you can do with the AMD graphics card, but I showed you a better way of utilizing your whole machine so that you can get a perfectly adequate, good quality stream out there. If this video did help, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share it with your friends, and thanks so much guys for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Have a nice day.